Good evening, George. Hello. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, my friends. Um, how are you doing? Michael. There are class or not? Hello. Yeah, I have some difficulties class. with my internet. Can you hear me? Me escuchan? Hello, teacher. Hello. How the things is going? Well, I guess good, but I have difficulties with my internet. Can you hear me? Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Yes, we can. Okay, thank you, thank you. I guess I have difficulties because of the rain and I'm trying to, to have it like uh, like everything in order. Just give me a second. Let me check here. I was having some difficulties. So, okay, Denise. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Miguel. How, well, how, how are you doing? doing? Okay, Miguel, how are you doing? Tell me. Oh, all excellent for me. This is good to be okay. class right now. Perfect, perfect. I like that. I let you hear that. Thank you. What about you, Ernest? How was your day? I'm alive. Teacher, <laughs> yes, yes, I can see yes. you're alive. That's good. Okay, it so, was a hard day. I can imagine. I can imagine like a hard day. It's not that easy. Today is Wednesday, so I don't know. In your case, do you work on Saturdays? Ernesto? Yes, I, I I work. Yes, oh. yes, midday. Thank you. I need you to do, well, it is like a survey, una pequeña encuesta. Well, more than a survey, it's a question. You tell me if you work on Saturday, do this. Thumb up, pulgar arriba, así como lo pueden ver acá. Okay. Muéstrame, I want to see, because Ernest says that he um, works on Saturday. Majo, also, who else? Just two. What about the others? No. Okay, the others, I guess no, right? Freddy's, what about you? No. You don't work on Saturdays. No. No, okay, that's nice. No. Okay, no good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Um. when you haven't scheduled you from Monday to Saturday, it's different. It is like when you are on Thursday, it is not that happy. But for the people who work from Monday to Friday, it's different. They feel like, yeah, they are really happy. Okay, my friends, uh, hello to everybody. We are going to complete class number 10, creating, creating an effective training manual. Okay, create, create, como creator, the rock band. Okay, creating an effective training manual. Um, this is the class number 10. Well, we're going to check this in a moment. As, as always, I present this. When we check the attendance list, here we have ways to say, I think. Okay, this is, this is really important, okay? Uh, ways to say, I think. When you, for example, want to express an opinion, and this is especially for the speaking activities that we have, and most of the speaking activities require your opinion or your point of view, your own ideas. So in that, in that case, you can say, I think, of course. It is, it is acceptable, say, I think. But also, it is like, it is like very basic, maybe. For example, when you say, how are you? Fine, you can do it. But it is like, like very common. But instead of, in lugar de decir, I think, you say, I believe, I guess, the way I see it, 
in, I'm not the opinion that, or in my opinion, as I see it, I consider, it seems to me that I'm convinced that, believe me, your English is going to sound better, but, but uh, pretty better. So the first one is, I believe, yo creo, I guess, yo supongo, the way I see it, la manera como lo veo, the way I see it. Um, next is, I'm of the opinion that, I'm of the opinion that, or, in my opinion, uh, the way I see it is, como yo lo veo, I'm of the opinion that, soy de la opinión que, or in my opinion, in my opinion, tal, tal cosa, as I see it, como lo veo, I consider, yo considero que, It seems to me that me parece que I'm convinced that estoy convencido que So, we're going to do something different. You're going to say, okay, hello or good evening, present. Okay, remember this. When I call you, you have to say hi, hello. And you have to say present. And after, you have to... Um, You have to take one of these phrases and express one of your opinions related to anything you want to say. Okay. Diga una de esas y también pues van a mencionar cualquiera de las opiniones. Por ejemplo, I consider that the plastic bag should be banned from the supermarkets. Yo considero que las bolsas de plástico deben de ser eliminadas del supermercado. Or, I believe that students should not do homework. Yo creo que los estudiantes no deberían de hacer tarea. One example. I'm not saying that that's my opinion. It's just examples, okay? Or I'm the opinion that um, animals should have their own hospital, okay? Think about uh, whatever idea you want to say. Okay, piensa en cualquier idea que quieran decir. But remember, select one of these phrases and then you give your opinion about anything, about music, about food. For example, if you want to mention the best pupusería en El Salvador or the best pizza or, I don't know, the fanciest restaurant or the, the most expensive, el más caro, I don't know. Depends on you whatever you want to say, or the best moment in your life. I don't know. So I'm going to give you like one minute. Le doy un minuto para que piense, and then we check the attendance list. Eh, Miguel, siempre recuerda tener el micrófono apagado, porque siempre veo que tienes eh, encendido. Remember that. That's part of the instructions. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you like, like yeah, a couple of seconds, and we check the attendance list. Okay. Teacher. Send you the title to the chat. Hey, so Okay, let's move to this. And here we have the first person here, Alex uh, Ramirez. I don't know if we have Alex here. <clears throat> Maybe not, right? Uh, Ana Raquel, I don't know if you are there. Present teacher. Okay, Raquel. Your phrase, tu frase y tu idea, your idea, please. Um, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe what? ¿Qué más? Teacher, disculpe si es que piensa que le escucho bien suave, quizás porque no me cae. Wey. No le escucho muy bien. Maybe you're. Estoy you're... conectada, pero bien suave. Really? Okay, let me check. Pues, uh, Can you hear me well in your case? No problem? 
no problem, no problem. Okay. okay, thank you. Maybe your internet, Raquel. Two options. Two opciones. Or your internet is failing. O estás, no tienes la idea. Pero posiblemente después nos ayude, Raquel. No te preocupes. Te voy a dar tiempo. I'm going to give you time. Es que acabo de salir del trabajo. Te voy caminando para agarrar el bus. Ok, thank you. Entonces, la próxima... Pero voy a ser como oyente porque también está lloviendo, teacher. Perfecto, Thank perfecto. Siempre recuerdan eh, avisar en Zoom, ¿ok? Please. Así eh, yo guardo estos segundos acá y los utilizamos en otra cosa para que la clase sea más dinámica, ¿ok? Thank you, eh, Ana Raquel. Recuerden siempre avisar. Um, Vicky, I don't know if Vicky is here. Yes. Hello, Hello Vicky. Here. Ok, you tell me. Hello. Um, in my opinion... The presidential re-election is uncon unconstitutional. unconstitutional. Okay, unconstitutional. Thank you. Unconstitutional. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. That's uh, your point of view. Perfect. Um, Brandon, hello there. Present teacher. Thank you. I believe it will continue, continue to rain. Yeah. It is, uh, I guess... I guess it's going to continue raining. That's true. Thank you. Well, Denise is like listener. She said, uh, Freddy's, your turn, my friend. Hi. Present teacher. Thank I you. believe the life is wonderful. Yeah, it sounds like very romantic, Freddy's. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. We go with Albert, Jorge Alberto, okay? Yes, I can see your people. Okay. Um, I. It is like difficult to 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 listen to you. Maybe are you wearing? Are you using your earphones or not? Headphones. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, no. My headphones. No. Sí, se te escucha así como lejos. Ok, thank you. Ernest, your turn. Ernest, teacher, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes, Ernest. Hello. Hello. Present. Uh, I consider, present, I consider I haven't had enough coffee this day. <laughs> Maybe you need an extra cup. Ok, more coffee for Ernest. Thank you. Very good point. And I guess it, it's real, it's part of your reality. Um, Luis Eduardo Reyes, I don't know if, if Luis is here. Okay, maybe not. But let's go with uh, Majo. Hi. Hi, good evening, present are better than price pupusas. Perfect. Well, yeah, I think so. Uh, Maritza, no, if Maritza is here, in case no, let's go with Miguel. Okay, Miguel. You hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. I believe, I believe that a young who has pet should be responsible for clean of what they do in a private area. Definitely, yes. They have to be responsible mm -hmm, for yes. what they do. Yes, yeah. I agree. I agree, yes. Morelia, thank, thank you, you Miguel. Uh, what about you, Morelia? Hi. Hello. Hello there. In my opinion, hamburgers are better than pizza. Okay, could it be? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Thank you, Morelia. It's a, it's a topic for debate. Thank you. Nancy, we go with Nancy now. Hi there. Present teacher. Hello, Nancy. I think that shall be eaten on time on dinner. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Nancy, are you moving? Are you on the transportation or in your car? Or are yes. you at home? All right. Thank right you. now yes thank you please let me know when you're at home please let me know 
me avisa cuando llegas. Um, Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. No. Ok. Eh, Roberto. Hi, Roberto. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I believe... I believe that English learning is very important in our days because it opens up a lot of possibilities. In... Okay. Thank you. Very nice because you, you uh, expressed your idea and you gave details because and you gave details. That's very good. When you want to give your opinion, it is good to give details or examples. Thank you, Roberto. Uh, Roxana, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Roxana. In my opinion, the pupusas are very expensive in some places. Yeah. I don't know. Thank you, Roxana. I don't know if you if you saw a post on Facebook in which one pupusas is like four dollars or four fifty five dollars, I guess. Yes. Well, kind of crazy, yes. right? But I don't know the place. Too expensive. Maybe. Mm -hmm. In nowadays, I think. Yes, I think it's the tres los tres cerditos. Ah, yes, that, that 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 was the the restaurant. Well, well, the the, yes. the commercial that in nowadays, for example, in Planes de Renderos, pupusas are like one pupusa is one dollar or one twenty five cents. Yes, it's too expensive. I Maybe. think it's for the tourists. Mm -hmm, for the tourists, but the the cheapest, la más barata de cheapest, maybe is 75 cents, I guess, yeah. I guess, but yeah. yeah well, kind of complicated pupusas, okay, our pupusas. Okay, let's move to another part, and I want to explain something. Here we have this, well, you remember the, these a conversation, right? I will ask you to help me. In this case, I will need maybe Freddy's. Can you can you read this? You are Javier, okay? Okay. And Miguel, you're going to be manager more, okay? And then we're going to answer some questions about this, please. Can you do it uh, for us, for the class? You start, Freddy. Okay. Uh, uh, Javier, sir, I forgot how to process our payment. Thank you. Okay, Miguel. All right. Um, okay. Uh, todo. The manager Moore hasta todo. Ahí. Sí, va. Yes, manager Moore. Until copy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the register or your slide the card told. The card read it, then the register prints the Right step, and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt, and you keep a copy. Mm -hmm. Ready? <clears throat> Freddy says thank you, right? Ready? <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank no you. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. Uh, nice. Here we have some steps. Okay, first, after that, then, and finally. So now that we have this conversation that we studied yesterday, here we have some <clears throat> questions. For example, let's see here, Roberto, could you help me with number one? It says pair work, but I don't consider that we can do pair work. Maybe we can do this, and then, let, then we're going to study adverbs. Roberto, could you help me with question one? What steps? Read it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first question. 
Yeah, please, one, the first one. What, what tips does manager Morrow give Javier to a payment? Thank you, thank you. Okay, what steps? Yeah. ¿Qué pasos? Okay. What words? Uh, okay. Hello. Okay, Roberto, help me answering number one, please. Could you help me, please, with number one? What steps? ¿Qué pasos? Okay. Mm -hmm. What uh, steps? Okay. First, I can read uh, Javier. No, no. I have to give the option. No. Aha, okay. Nice. But what are the steps? ¿Cuáles son los pasos? What are the steps here that... First, mm -hmm. First. give the option to pay yes. in cash or credit card. Mm -hmm. After that, take the payment and put in the register or okay. mm -hmm. slide the card. Yeah. Then, and then... Then register, bring the receipt the receipt and finally and finally the customer sees signs. the receipt yes signs thank you yes so of course it is so now here we have second question what words does manager Moore use to order the sequence of events okay Ernest please help me with question number two what words does manager Moore use to order the sequence of events it is very easy right Yes, teacher. <clears throat> First, uh, after that, yeah. then, and finally. Perfect. Thank you. So, these are adverbs. Estos son adverbios. Okay? And I'm going to show you something. Here we have, um, I know that you studied these topics in the previous um, courses, in the previous modules. But anyway, I want to explain some, some differences between adjectives and adverbs. Okay. The adjectives are words that describe people. And those words can describe a person or a place uh, related to the physical appearance, for example, chubby, strong, young, old, tall, short, okay, pretty, ugly. Those are examples of adjectives because it is part of the description. And also, there are some other adjectives related to the personality, for example, intelligent, interesting, important, popular, um, and, and some other. Uh, messy. Messy means ordenado. I don't know. Maybe you think Lionel Messi, but no. Messy means ordenado. And there are some other examples. For example, exciting, emocionante, amazing, impresionante. All of them are adjectives because the adjectives describe people and places or situations. Los adjetivos describen eso. Personas, lugares o situaciones. Now, let's move to the, to the adverbs. Esos son los adjetivos. And believe me, we're going to study adjectives at the end of the class. Si nos queda un poco de tiempo, al final de la clase, at the end of the class, we're going to study um, the adjectives. Okay, now let's move to the adverbs and in this case adverbs there are a lot of adverbs in which they end in ly hay algunos que terminan en l y la y o la y por ejemplo peacefully cheerfully uh, really extremely urgently but there are some other types of adverbs and what are the adverbs Adverbs describe not only people, places, or situations, but also sentences, words, and even some other adverbs or adjectives. Imagine, adjectives, it's for description, 
but adverbs, it is like it can describe or change the order of something. Pueden describir o cambiar el orden de algo. And this is like in another level. Because adjectives, they have a place. Los adjetivos tienen un lugar específico in a, in, in a sentence. But adverbs can be in different places. And I'm going to show you. For example, in this case, here we have some adverb and its types, okay? A word which H qualifies everything except a noun and pronoun is called adverb. Look at this. Here we have adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of manner, adverb of frequency, relative adverbs, adverb of results, interrogative adverbs, and adverb of comparison. We're going to we're going to study the first one. For example, adverb of frequency, it's something that you know. This adverb denotes frequency or number. For, for example, thirdly, secondly, partly, sometimes, similar to the one that we have studied. And also, there are some others like uh, always, sometimes, never, that's frequency. And here we have some others. For example, Advert of result. Uh, the advert that denotes the result of an occurrence, it's called advert of result. Cuando decimos finally, consequently, as a conclusion, that's like an advert. Okay? And this is just for you to know and to have an idea what types of adverbs you have. Look at this. Interrogative adverbs. How, how many, why, when. So, Adverbs, we're going to focus. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to send this picture to the WhatsApp group, okay? So you can have it to have like an idea about the variety of adverbs that we have. Let's continue. So um, now that we have this, as I told you before, uh, related to the adjectives, Relacionar con los adjetivos. We're going to study this at the end of the class. Okay. Well, this is a well, this is a speaking activity that we had yesterday, but because of the time, we couldn't complete uh, this. Okay. So, couples to approve intelligent tests before they can help children. Okay. Why? Uh, what does this mean? It means that before having children, adults, okay, uh, couples, they have to approve some exams, especially intelligence. Or it, remember intelligence, it is not how intelligent you are uh, related to uh, business, well, finances, about emotions, okay, about how to administer your time, so different things. Agree or disagree? You can say, I agree or I disagree. You can say also, I don't agree. But please don't say I'm agree or I am agree. It is, that's not acceptable, okay? You can say, I am in agreement, okay? Or I am in disagreement, but that's another thing. I agree or disagree. I, I'm going to wait for your opinions in the chat. Please, I need you to know what your point of view about this. I consider that this is a, a really interesting topic in which maybe we can think now. If these questions uh, were asked for, well, if this question was asked, to your parents or your grandparents, imagine the answer should would be different. But now you have like another uh, views, another experiences, right? So I'm going to wait a couple of seconds, please. Uh,
text and write your answer in the chat. Okay? And then you have to read it. Given su respuesta en el chat y luego lo leemos. Okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, please. Teacher. Yep. In <clears throat> I have a question. Okay. In this What? in this context, intelligence mm, da, doesn't mean smart. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. No. Remember. Okay. Uh, we, you are intelligent in different aspects. Okay. For example, a person who is intelligent, it is difficult to to know, right? Like completely. But we have different areas. If you want to 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 talk about just for if a person is smart, it's okay. But there are some others because some of the participants texted me uh, yesterday and they understood this question as if they are good with emotions, okay? And if they are good in finances. If they are good, um, like taking uh, decisions or making choices, okay, that's part of, of being intelligent, right? So, but if you want to talk about just for smart, it's okay, Ernest. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Okay, give your opinion about okay. how Thank you, you, you perceive. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's wait a couple of seconds and then let's see. Okay, here we have a couple of uh, opinions. I like that you can express what uh, what do you think? What do you consider it's right uh, based on your experience, based on what you have read, based on your education, or based on what your parents have taught you, okay? We're going to start in this case with Maho. Well, I'm sorry, Brandon. Brandon and then Mao. Okay. You agree? Okay, teacher. Uh, yes, I agree. Because there are people who are not qualified both mentally and economically. And the ones who suffered are the children. Yes. Yes, definitely. Well, uh, suffer, 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 suffer. But good point, Brandon. Thank you. Yeah, the victims or um, people's disorder, well, are the, the kids, children are affected, unfortunately. So, thank you. Maho, and then we go with Freddy's. Okay, I agree. I think it is necessary for the government to have a birth control program accompanied by an emotional intelligence test 
In addition to this, uh, it would also be good if they could do a study of the couple's finances um, to see if they are capable or able of maintaining a home giving and giving everything necessary to a child. <clears throat> Thank you. Finances. 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 Couple's finances. Okay, Maho, good points. I like your, your, your main ideas. Imagine, birth control is not part of this question, but it is an interesting uh, topic because in some other countries, when the, the geographical uh, space is not enough, like in El Salvador, we have, uh, this is a small country and we have a lot of people. And what about the quality of education or the quality of, of, of people that we have here? And are they uh, capable to, to have kids uh, healthy, mentally, and so on? Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. A good study from, from the government should be nice or from any foundation or NGO. If we can have those statistics, we can have a better idea, right? how we are here in El Salvador. Thank you, Maho. Thank you. I guess you have thought a lot about this, right, Maho? You have a lot of ideas about this. I know. Yes, I know. we don't have sexual education. Mm -mm. Definitely no. Yes. And even instead of having mm -hmm. a different types of education, for example, sexual education, we uh, omit that topic. If you notice in the families or in some schools, they they don't talk about this profoundly. So, unfortunately. Thank you, Maho. In some other class, we're going to talk about finances. And this is a big, but a big topic to talk about. Uh, what about Fredis and then Roxana? Fredis, please, my friend, go. Okay, in my opinion, I don't agree. The test should be about the behavior, the psychology that determines the couples are ready to be parents because that's a big responsibility. Thank you. Yes, Fredis. If you notice, this uh, question was just for intelligence and maybe uh, it can cover some areas, but psychology test is better because it's very deep. It goes for the behavior specifically, right? Or the background that people have, for example, your childhood. How was your childhood? What type of life uh, did you have, right? So it depends on the result, how good parent you're going to be. Thank you, Fredis. Very nice. Uh, Roxana and then Alberto. Okay, okay. Roxana. Okay, I agree. The period for the arrival of a baby is essential to provide them with everything they need to grow up healthy and happy because having a child is the most important decision a couple makes in their life but also generally no one is prepared to be parents to raise a baby to learn alone in the way i think so. yeah i like your ideas thank you roxana uh, when you said that, I just remember something that I saw on, on Facebook, I guess, that it, it said, the post says, having a tattoo and having a, a, a baby, it's similar because mm -hmm. you really think to, you really, uh, no, you need to think profoundly. You, re, you need to think, but... Like, well, you, you have to think twice. There are different a lot of this, right? Definitely. So in your case, yes. having a, a baby uh, from the beginning, that moment when the baby is is growing, uh, they they need, well, the kids need vitamins, a good environment, emotional environment. Yeah, different. Aspects. Yes, it's so, not easy. Mm -mm, not easy, and no one is prepared, right? But yeah, thank you. Roxana. Yes, I like it. I like it. It's a big change. Okay. Albert and then yes. Ernest. Okay. 
الكاي البرت Okay, thank you. Um, yes, it is like not coming back, right? You have to plan very, very, but very uh, detailed because it is not that you're going to regret. You're you're going to say, I okay. Mm -hmm. I was down to always accept life regardless of the situation. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we have a lot of uh disintegrated families here in El Salvador. We have a lot of parents living uh, in bad conditions. I mean, the relationships and well, a lot of cases. Thank you, Alberto. Ernest, and then Roberto. I don't agree. This goes against the nature of the human being as such. However, guidance is needed for future parents about the real responsibility to have children. Thank you. However, mm -hmm. however, guidance is needed. Okay, thank you. If you notice, we have like an instinct biologically we are created to reproduce ourselves, right? And uh, this is part of the nature, right? And as evolution goes, we ha we think differently now than in the past. But okay, I understand your point. Thank you, Ernest. We go with Roberto, and I guess we're going to finish until here. I don't know, maybe uh, Morelia, um, maybe who else? Maybe Vicky. Um, I don't know if Miguel is there to also uh, share your opinions. Okay, uh, Roxana. No, no, I'm sorry. Who was Roberto? I'm sorry. Roberto Morales, your turn. Okay, teacher. Uh, first, I consider that is an impossible idea and it is our topic at the same time. Mm -hmm. because there are a lot of unwanted pregnancy but it's a good idea for the couples before get married and i would like i would like to know if this is a real require in some countries very interesting question as far as i know uh, in some other countries they ask for blood tests for any other like uh, illness or sicknesses that maybe it is from heritage, the adherencia, alguna enfermedad. Maybe there are some cases. So uh, in some countries, I know well. In, even in some states, in well, in the states, in United States, uh, they ask for that. But it is also a legal requirement, but not intelligence or as some other uh, participants when talking about behavior uh, tests. Or psychology test or finance? Mm, no, I guess it is not. It is like, like yes, yes like utopic as, as you mentioned, something that it should be nice, maybe not mandatory, but it should be good. Thank you, Robert. Okay, I don't know the rest, Miguel. Do you have an opinion about this? Because I don't see your answer here. Yes, hmm? agree. Okay. okay, young people need an intelligent education since there are many young parents who do not know what to do. They do not have jobs and they not understand responsibilities for being for being young, which is why I agree that they receive an intelligent education. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Intelligence. Intelligence. Yes, it is like a chain. It is like in, if your parents, if your grandparents had difficulties, your parents, now you and your kids, uh, sometimes we need to change this, okay? To restart and change some, well, some behavior that we have. Thank you, Miguel. Okay, and remember, as I always you, appreciate you. when you 
write your answers. Cuando escriben sus respuestas, es positivo porque puedo ver qué tipo de palabras o vocabulario están utilizando y cuando a veces no lo pronunciamos bien. Ok, so that's why it is important always to text. Let's continue. And here we have a listening. This listening, eh, it is from a, from a friend. Okay, she has a really nice pronunciation. I really love her pronunciation. So I hope you can understand everything that she says. And she talked about a topic that it is related to the companies or some enterprises. Okay, so I'm going to play it two times. So you can have opportunity to write some ideas, some words, but in case you don't want to write, it's okay. Just pay attention, listen, and then you tell me uh, main ideas or what do you remember about this audio. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just have to check. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. With this. With this. I don't know what is going on with this uh, audio player. I'm going to open it again. Okay. Here we go. Company values, also called corporate values or core values, are the set of guiding principles and fundamental beliefs that help a group of people function together as a team and work toward a common business goal. These values are often related to business relationships, customer relationships, and company growth. Some examples are integrity, passion, fun, honesty, leadership, teamwork, innovation, quality, commitment, and some others. Okay, let's listen one more time. Company values, also called corporate values or core values are the set of guiding principles and fundamental beliefs that help a group of people function together as a team and work toward a common business goal. These values are often related to business relationships, customer relationships, and company growth. Some examples are integrity, passion, fun, honesty, leadership, teamwork, innovation, quality, commitment, and some others. Okay, you tell me uh, who wants to say something about this audio that we have listened. Mm -hmm. It can be ideas or words. Vicky, you? A company values, mm -hmm. um, different values like uh, honesty, leadership, uh, passion, innovation, quality, and um, customer rela relationships. Thank you. Yeah, those are examples of uh, corporate values. Mm -hmm. Nice, Vicky. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? I could 
understood. Yep. Uh, these values, uh, values are, uh, we apply these values in relationships. For example, a business relationship. Uh, and some of these values are integrity, innovation, honesty, uh, leadership, and quality. Perfect. Yeah, I like it. Yes, Roberto. We apply these values in different companies, right? Yeah, with people, with the processes that we have and are really, really important. Okay, anybody else? Do we have one more participant? I know that maybe you have taken notes and with the same words, maybe the same ideas. Mm -hmm. I heard that she talked about uh, company values. That is mm -hmm. a fundamental beliefs. Yeah. And it helped to a group of people to work together as a team. It mentioned integrity, passion, honesty, leadership, innovation, quality, and teamwork. Yeah. Thank you, Maho. Yes. And these values, as you were mentioning, it is are this. Here we have company values, also called corporate values or core values. Core values is like the contraction is something really short. And you know that Americans or people from the United States, they they love uh, making short some phrases. So that's why they have nicknames. Instead of saying um, Anna, they say Anne, okay? Instead of saying Roxana, they say Roxy and so on. Okay, so, yep, set of guiding principles and fundamental beliefs, okay? And as you mentioned, um, be customer relationship, integrity, passion, fun, honesty, leadership, teamwork, innovation, quality, commitment, and some others. Okay, commitment, if you notice, it is something that our supervisor, the bosses, the superiors, well, I mean the chief, they they demand. But uh, we also, as employees, we need good leadership. We need teamwork, okay, and quality. So, yeah, interesting topic, company values. I consider that you have some values in your company, and there are some others that, the company says that they have that those values, but they don't have it, but they have some, okay? That's it, okay. Um, now, we're going to work in a reading text, okay? Let's practice some reading. The topic is how handle complaints from angry, rude, or frustrated customers. Okay, handle is manejar, solventar, when you handle a difficult situation in your work. Okay, you tell me which ones of these o o of you work with customers. Maho work with customers. Maho works with customers, right? Yes. Okay, Roberto, works with customers even you are not a salesperson but you work with your your parents and and the kids okay yeah i don't know who else spreadies do you work with customers with clients not necessary no, okay thank you uh, alberto it's in production works oh, okay you work with production okay thank you uh, alberto do you work with clients or customers Okay. okay, thank you. Maybe if you can have headphones for the next class, eh, Alberto, it would be fun because I can hear you like far away. Te escucho como lejano. And maybe sí, tengo bien poca y eso que es internet. Como... Yeah. Okay, it is raining. It is raining near, near your house? In my house. Okay. 
Yeah, you know. Thank you. Okay, Vicky, do you work with customers or clients? I don't know if Vicky works with customers or clients. If not, let's see who else. Miguel, in your case, do you work with customers or clients? I don't know. No sé si me escucha. Miguel, can you hear me? Yes, yes. I have a little problem. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't work with clients. No, clients. only okay. production. Only production. Thank you. Ernest, what about you? Work with clients? No, teacher. No. Oh. Okay, no at all, no problem. What about Brandon? Well, I know that you're like a listener. I don't know if you work with customers, but I know that Morelia works with customers. Yes, I guess. Hi, yes. Yes, right? Yes, I work with customers. Yes. Yes, you, you, you told me that the last time. But well, um, we're going to have like a reading let me check here. We have a text similar to the first class. We have like different tips, right? But now we're going to have like some examples how handle complaints, right? And I'm going to show you in a moment hello i'm sorry my internet is well i'm having problems with my internet so i don't know if you can Okay, vamos a ver si me pueden escuchar. I know if you can hear me. Voy a apagar el video, bueno, la cámara. Ernesto, ¿me escuchas? Hi. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you, thank you, my friends. Sometimes when you have problems with your internet or your Wi-Fi or anything, and it is good to turn your camera off. So in that way, the, your your internet can be like established normally. So, okay, I'm going to show you part of the text. De le puedo mostrar parte del texto. It is like this. Here we have the topic. How handle complaints from angry, rude, or frustrated customers? And here we have this. I will need you to help me reading the first part. Necesito que me den a leer la primera parte, por lo menos el primer párrafo. I don't know if we have Morelia over here. Tenemos a Morelia por acá. Yes, I'm here. Okay, please. From customer until customers. Please, Morelia. Okay. Customer service often means dealing with angry, frustrated, or rude customers. Dealing with those customers effect effectively can often make a, or break a company. This article presents a five-step process for Thank you. Thank you, Morelia. Again, I had some difficulties, but okay. Basically, what Morelia mentioned is that we have problems, tenemos problemas with customers in different aspects, right? So, 
And here we have most customers. Most customer service professionals deal with many challenging customer situations. Okay, challenging is red. Challenging customer situation. These situations may include, okay, these are just examples. Okay, um, let's listen to Roberto. Please, could you help me with number one and number two? If you can read this. Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. A customer who is yeah. upset about the quality or delivery of our product service. Yeah. A product return or cancellation of service. That's it. And uh, let's listen here, uh, Vicky, please, with uh, next one, three and four. Incorrect. And we finish in incorrect. Okay, incorrect information given to the customer. Mm -hmm. A customer who is negative to where your company due to past experience. Mm -hmm. Due, mm -hmm. due to past experience. That's it. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's listen in this uh, case. Let's go with uh, Freddy's. Please. Um, Confrontation. Offer. What, teacher? Confrontational. Conf confrontational. Is use it? and conflict. Yeah. Usual and conflict. Angry customer. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Issues. It's synonym like That's it. mm -hmm. issues is like problems thank you and maho please the last ones explaining a company policy or pressure and fielding a request to escalate a call to management thank you uh this is procedure yeah that's it so these are like examples of different uh, context or different, yeah, like scenes, como escenas de problemas or uh, situations, okay? So uh, here we have some steps. For example, it says five step process, okay? Tenemos el proceso de cinco pasos. Number one, strategize, strategize. Step number two, acknowledge, acknowledge. Step three, clarify. Number, step four, present resolution. And step five, check back, okay? Check back. We have five steps. What are we going to do? Um, in these steps, they are like, they present information about what to do in every step. They present information. Okay? So what we're going to do is to read and establish the main idea, okay? In like in summary, like wrap up, ¿verdad? In, in resumen, you tell me what is step one, what is step two, what is step three. I'm going to divide the teams, okay? Because we have, uh, we're going to work in teams. So for different teams, I'm going to give any step. Le voy a dar un paso a cada uno de los equipos, okay? So in this case, let me check. Here I'm sending. Here I'm sending the link. So please, I need you to click in that link and go to the website. Take a look to the reading. As you notice, it is not a big paragraph. No es bast no es tan grande. But in that case, I need you to read and to uh, analyze and present, like in summary, what is that step? One, two, three, four, and five, okay? And as always, I'm going to
I'm going to send you in different and different teams. Okay. So let me see. I know some of you have problems because you are moving. I'm just organizing. Okay. And I'm going to send you what step? One, two, three, four, or five. Here we have the breakout rooms. Okay, see you in a moment. Please accept the request. If you want in the WhatsApp group, I'm going to give the details. Le doy los detalles, okay? So we're, we're not going to have any problem. Remember, read the step that I assign you, el paso que yo les asigno. See you in a moment, my friends. I'm going to give you like seven, eight minutes, and then we come back. Alberto, did you say accept? Necesito que aceptes la solicitud. Ok, Alberto, I uh, send the request. Ya envié la solicitud, Alberto. Please accept. A WhatsApp lo envié. Hello.
teacher. Hello, Brandon. Difficulties yeah. with the connection? Yeah. Okay, sí. uh, you're number one, right? Yes, correct. Okay, I'm going to uh, send uh, the request again. Please accept it.
Listo, ya fuera de dormir. Si ya no Well, let's move now that we have our main ideas. Um, as I told you before, the topic is how handle complaints for angry, rude, or frustrated customer. So remember, when we work with clients, with people specifically or directly, we're going to find some difficult moments in which if that person it is like acting uh, like very angry rude or complaining quejándose we have to deal we have to handle this kind of situations and that's why let's listen to what you have remember that we have different steps okay The five-step process. Have you ever been an upset customer uh, calling your product or service provided with a serious problem? Uh, imagine, it is not only that you have to attend difficult clients. Have you ever been you, a difficult client? Have you ever been a complicated customer? I don't know. In my case, I like to be a good customer, a good client, because I have worked in this area and I know it is difficult. But well, here we have step one, strategize. La verdad de estrategias, acknowledge, reconocer, right? Clarify, verdad, aclarar, present resolution, and check part. Okay, what about number one? And here we have... Let me see, Brandon and, and Roberto. Okay, what is the main idea about this, my friends? About this uh, paragraph? I don't know if you are ready. Okay. Uh, are you okay? Yeah? I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's ready. Perfect. Yes. Okay, I have four points. For this part of the customer. Second, identify the problem. And three, change the product. And for uh, our return uh, with permission from the manager. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Okay, very nice because you are dealing with, you are managing or handling the problem. Thank you. Uh, what about the next team? Vicky or Morelli. What um, do you have for us? Yes, me. Okay, uh, Morelli. We think that the principal idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you listen to me? Yes. Yes, yes uh, I can listen to you. Okay. Okay. We think that the principal idea is say sorry and uh, try to understand the feels, the feels of the customer and be a polite with them and try to, to give a solution. Thank you. In yeah. some case, we have to say lies, but it's for the... It's for the... The benefit uh, of the process, the company, yeah. or yeah, or yeah. for they don't complain more. Porque no se quejen más, so well. Exactly. Uh, as you, as you mentioned, and actually, you have been in this situation, right, Morelia? You have been like oh. this, I guess. Yes, some days ago, I re I I take a a call with a customer. And they were, she was angry, very angry, mm -hmm. because she wants, wanted a, a food for her dog, but 
the she she wanted delivery. Mm -hmm. And it isn't the the offer to delivery because it's what it, so it was too late. Yeah. I, and I, I she was very angry. Okay, I got it. Okay, as you yeah. mentioned, I apologize to say I'm sorry. Imagine, uh, most of the times it is not your fault. It is a problem for the customer or the company, but you have to say sorry because also you are representing the, the company, right? You are representing that yes. process. So, well, thank you. Thank you so much. We go now with uh, Ernest or Miguel. Clarify. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Um, when I spoke with my partner or colleague Ernesto, yep. Uh, the may 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 idea is first we listen to what the client want to tell us, and mm -hmm. when he has explained it to us, we give give him our opinion if. It seems to him that our opinion is in agreement with how he has presented it to us. We urge an agreement of what he really wants. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Very interesting. You, you have to listen carefully or uh, identify what the client wants, right? What is he uh, asking? So thank you, Miguel. Yes, it is like this. And even you have to take your time in that case. Uh, let's move on to uh, group four, step four, uh, Albert and Maho, because Raquel didn't, couldn't connect, right? Okay, I don't know who's going to present the ideas i don't know if if albert wants to read or me okay i'm going to do it and um, the main idea of the fourth step is present a resolution and offer alternatives to solve the need of the customer specifically what we are going to do for the customer the client must inform what can be done and what cannot be done. Okay. Very concrete. Thank you, Mahou. And the client is can be arguing, can be saying, I want to solve this right now. And you have to say, I'm sorry. Yes, you listen to that person, but you have to present options. Okay. Uh, your requirements, it is not, well, it's not possible, but I recommend you these options or I present you these alternatives. So you can choose, you can pick which ones, okay? And you detail every uh, option. Thank you, Mahom. And that's the point of attending customers or clients, mm, giving solutions or giving alternatives, okay? For the problem of that person. Thank you, Mahom. And mm, step number five, was for Freddy's and Roxana. Okay. The in our opinion, the my idea in the step number five is the opportunity to make sure that the customer is satisfied and feel good about the resolution. Is that's it. Also, okay. any resolution could be asked for feedback and take action and create a customer rewards. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. As as you mentioned, very nice, but very nice. Uh, you have to be sure about what the client wants, uh, about what if he or she is satisfied. 
okay and have a feedback okay my friends thank you gracias este no sé si me escuchan creo que hay dificultades vamos a ver let's check um freddy's can you hear si se escucha okay thank you yes thank teacher you. thank you so much i'm having but big big problems with my internet i'm so sorry and we have just 23 minutes and we finish. 23 minutes y terminamos, okay? We are doing really good. And now that we have this, and let me check, Um, we are going to, okay, with the second speaking activity because we have just uh, like two more activities and we say goodbye, okay? And the second speaking activity is if you have only 24 hours to live, what would you do? Si tuviera solo 24 horas, okay, to live para vivir, what would you do? What activities would you like to do? Okay, uh, I need you to please um text on in the chat, and we're going to read all the answers. I consider that this is really really interesting question because it is part of the real things that or your real wishes, right? Imagine 24 hours, it is one day. And then you say goodbye, you pass away. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know that you have prepared these answers. So please uh, text or chat, right? And then we're going to read all the answers. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Okay, we're going to start with Brandon. No, sorry. Yeah, Brandon and then Alberto. Okay, Brandon. Your turn. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, maybe spend more time with my family, enjoy with them, my mom, my sister, and my son. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, 
I guess spending time with family, and especially the nuclear family, is like more important. And why not? Thank you, Alberto, and then Majo. Okay, Alberto. I just give you thanks to God for the blessing of giving my life. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is my own. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. We go with Majo and Fredis. Okay, Majo. Okay, I like to do a lot of things. <laughs> I know, I, I can see. If I only had 24 hours to live, I would like to see a sunset or sunrise from a volcano or high because I like hiking. That feeling of clean air and the view is the best thing there is. Um, listening to the songs I like the most at full volume. And I will also try to spend time with my family and eat my favorite dish. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and one question. Um, you wrote in the WhatsApp group, right? About the main idea. Yes, right, Maho? Yes. Oh, okay. okay, and I saw that you have tunnel. Is that from Nahuatl word? It yes, like... I was studying Nahuatl at the uh, University of El Salvador mm. and six years ago almost. Mm. Nice, nice. Yes. Okay, I, I could identify that because I like okay. Nahuatl too. I have, really? I know, yeah, I know a few words, just a few words, but it is really interesting. I <laughs> okay. love it. I love Thank it. So, you. yeah. Okay, thank you, Majo. Okay, we go with uh, Fredis and then Ernest. Okay, Fredis. Okay, if we were my last day of life, I think I would travel with my family to Canada and rent a lake for cabin in the countryside and fish oh, that's it thank you i guess that's a good point because you can be like far away from the city right like with the nature good idea thank you for this very okay, interesting you. and interesting ernest and then vicky For me, said goodbye to all my love and cry, cry a lot of. Maybe take a shot of tequila and wait for the meetings with the dead. Really? Okay. Saying goodbye is difficult. Only one shot of tequila. Only one. Uh, I'll, no. uh a big, a big one. A, <laughs> a, a <laughs> big one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Una botella. Oh, a bottle. <laughs> It'd be a bottle of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, nice. So that uh, I like it. Thank you, Ernest. What about uh, Vicky and Roberto? Okay. If I only have 24 hours uh, to live, the only thing I would like is to be with my daughter. Enjoy with her. She is the most important for me. And I would like to also share with my family, my mother and my brothers. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Only yes. That. Nice because uh, with your daughter, you can have a very special time, the, the, the last hours in your life so why not and enjoy it also with family thank you vicky yes i guess that's the main thing that we can do right and uh, Ro Robert, you. you're welcome roberto and Miguel. Oh, okay. 
Okay, Robert. Okay, teacher. You enjoy with the questions. I think this is a great question. And first, to live without me, specifically, specifically to my daughter and my wife. After I will write my last ideas, and finally, I will try to leave a good legacy. Very interesting. That's all. Very interesting, Robert. Okay, uh, I guess it is really nice, definitely with your wife, with your daughter, but writing like that, your last ideas, it is kind of legacy as well, but very wonderful because the next generations can read what they, the, your last ideas. It can be also advice or suggestions, podrían ser hasta consejos o su sugerencias, right? Part of the family. Thank you, Roberto. Very nice idea. And we go with Miguel. And I like, I like the idea of the tequila. Okay, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's a good uh, option that Ernesto said. Okay. Miguel, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, you hear me? Ye you yes, hear me? Miguel. Yes, Miguel. Thank you. I can hear you. Hola. Sí. Okay. 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 Ah, for hours to live is come to turn with God. That is my personal case. And then I, I will quite with that money and buy my family. I will buy my family for a walk and enjoy having a good time. Then I will visit my friend and talk while having a pleasant, a pleasant moment, having the fun with everyone mm -hmm. around me. And accepting that I only have 24 hours to live. Okay, That's thank it. you, Miguel. Mm -hmm. Very. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miguel. I could hear everything. Pude escuchar todo, Miguel. Thank you. It is nice. Uh, just one question. Redis, can you hear me? Redis? Yes? Yes, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Yes, and... teacher. Thank you, Fredis. Okay, uh, good meal because spending time, as most of you mentioned, it is like a very good option. Spend the last minutes that you have in this life with your family is the best you can do. Mm, specifically, if you have a a specific a, a Pacific place, si tiene un lugar pues tranquilo, why not? Okay, my friends, um, we're going with Roxana. Vamos con Roxana, verdad? We have, what's the name of the song? Roxana, are you ready? Yes. Okay, Roxana. I would like to share with my family and also I would like to enjoy my favorite food. Okay, nice. Perfect, perfect, yeah. Favorite food, yeah. Nobody mentioned that. Yeah, nadie mencionó sobre la comida. And that's a good wish. The last wish. Thank you. Okay, Roxana, um, are you ready to present your song? ¿Estás lista para presentar tu canción? Yes. Okay, puedes present, eh, compartir pantalla. Can you share screen? Ya sabes cómo. So. Yes. I only oh. have to read. Yes, you have to read. Okay. No, I can smile without you. 
I can smile without you. I can laugh and I can sing. I'm finding it hard to do anything. You see, I feel sad when you're sad. I feel glad when you're glad. If you only knew what, what I'm going through, I just can smile without you. You came along just like a song and brightened my day. Who would have believed that you were part of a dream? Now, it all seems like years away. Nice. I like this song. I love, I love this song. Okay. Question. Antes que continúes. Question. Yes. Does anybody know this song? ¿Alguien la conoce? It is a very romantic, old music. Nobody. Okay. This is from Barry Manilow. Right, Roxana? Yo, I guess. Yo. Mm. Can we mention the movie? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Roxana, did you mention the name? ¿Ya mencionaste el nombre de la canción? No. Oh, Can okay. I mention? Yeah, please. Can smile without you. Mm -hmm. It's Can a, smile without you. Yes. It's a, this it's a very song good. Is, uh, it's in the movie of Hellboy. Mm, yes, from Hellboy 2, I guess. I guess from Hellboy 2, I guess. But very nice, Roxana. I like this. Yes, uh, um, okay. Could you mention uh, the adjectives, the pronouns, and so on? Okay. For you, I pronounce um, feel is adjective, and sad it's ad adjective also. Um, I feel glad when you're glad, it's simple present. And you, it's a regular verb. And came also is a regular verb. That's it. Uh, okay, thank you. And only just mentioned that uh, this this uh, song is in present. Well, most of them. And the, the first one, you know, I can smile without you. But in the second oh, paragraph, yes. uh -huh, in the second paragraph, you came along just like the song. Came is in the past. Mm -hmm. In Brighton, my day is in the past. It's so, in the past. Mm -hmm. So that's it. But okay. Thank you, Roxana. I like this song. And a uh, very good job because you um you identify the adjective, pronouns, irregular verbs, and simple present. Solo que adjective le hace falta una C, adjective. Y pronouns va sin la D. But you did a good job. Persiste un buen trabajo. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And okay. um, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good job. Okay. Let me check. Maybe okay, you thanks. can. Okay. Let's see who is going to be the next one. And Roxana was the first in while well, doing this. I know it is difficult to be the first one, but Roberto, uh, your tomorrow uh, will be your turn. Okay. And I need you to to prepare something like this. Okay, Roberto, select one song and part. Can I select can... a Bad Bunny song? <laughs> no, I don't think so, my friend. But if you want. But it would be nice to select another. Carol G. Okay, it's come on. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a joke. Okay, my friends. Um, Roberto is here uh, tomorrow with the song. And we have just four minutes. But 
tonight is going to be let me check maho you were yesterday right with the session okay let's listen to yes i was yes right and maritza no no idea okay one question uh, una pregunta Oscar Eduardo Melentes Martínez trabaja con alguna de ustedes. Oscar Eduardo Melentes Martínez. No. No. Ok. Bueno, lo que pasa es que eh, como que ha... Uh, ya no se ha conectado y tenemos dificultades con su correo, pero bueno, ya veremos cómo, pues, nos ponemos de acuerdo acá. Miguel, ¿me escuchas? Más o menos, teacher. Oigo lejos. Ok, ok. Eh, necesito que te quedes con la sesión uno a uno, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, perfecto. Ahí me espero un momento. El resto necesito que me ponga thumb up, pulgar arriba para el chat. Ok, ya saben, igual que ayer. Así como lo acabo de hacer yo. Y de esa manera paso lista, ok. De esa manera paso lista al final. Ahora porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo para otra. We have run out of time. We don't have too much time to complete the other activity. Ok, recuerden siempre en el chat. ¿Verdad? Así como Freddy, Robert. Yes, Denise, Morelia, and the rest. Okay, my friends. Well, um, we are going to finish until here because I'm going to continue with Miguel. Okay, my friends. So have a good night and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to send the speaking activities. Okay. Bye-bye, my friends. Okay. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night teacher. Bye-bye. Tell me, teacher. Okay, Miguel. Um, two things. One, um, do you have any questions about any topic that you have studied in this course, or maybe for any special grammar structure, vocabulary phrases, type of conversation, or any like this? For me, it's very good. It's more interesting. Because mm -hmm. I have a problem because I don't have a, a, a computer because uh, se arruinó, don't work. Ah, uh, yeah, work. broke okay. down, broke oh. down. Uh -huh. And then I, I, my problem is I don't send in and with my colleague when text uh, okay. only, only have cell phone. Is okay. for me it's more difficult. It's difficult as uh, trying uh, writing and uh, speaking, listening is 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 a problem for me because okay. I I try and work the very okay. possible for me. I understand, okay. Miguel. Okay, in your case, number one, with the speaking activities, with your answers. I recommend you to write your answers in the blog notes in your cell phone. It can be in WhatsApp, it can be whatever uh, app that you want. And when the moment comes to participate, you can copy and paste here in the chat. So in that moment, you are not texting, you are not writing in that moment. But for example, in the speaking activities, you can do that, okay? Prepare your answers during the afternoon or in the morning. And when the moment comes for participating, giving opinions, copy and paste here in the chat. Okay, Miguel, that's one option that you can do. Because okay. if you write in that moment, it is sometimes we don't have too much time, right? And the answer sometimes is long. So mm -hmm. one option for you. Okay. Para que tengas, 
aparte de la respuesta y solo copias y pegas. But that could be another option. Okay. And eh, what about, did you have any English course in another place, in another academy, in another program of English? Have you ever uh, taken? Not teacher. Uh, in my personal case, or in my opinion, uh, I only study English about cell phone, uh, audios, audios. Uh, only listen and about videos. Um, I can try and uh, learn more English about. Uh, I don't know who can I say is the um, for myself. Okay. Yes, you are okay. self didactics. Okay, I'm going to write like this because okay, you learn. Mm -hmm, you learn by by yourself. Okay. for your effort right it is for the effort that you do like okay break down is arruinarse like your your computer mm -hmm. broke down is in the past se arruinó. and you are self you are self didactic Okay, you learn by yourself. Okay, you learn by yourself, and that's good. Okay, if you watch videos, good. If you listen to music or you listen to some conversation, that's another point. But something that I also recommend is this. Okay, record my voice. But when you are reading, mm -hmm. okay. for, for example, you can look for a paragraph in the newspaper or on internet about whatever you want to, to read. N nature, animals, sports, music, movies, books, whatever. Select one, three lines or four lines, okay? Okay. Okay. Look more at this. vocabulary for me. Yeah, yeah. That's one. One one more vocabulary. But when you record in your cell phone and then you listen your voice, you're going to you're going to accustom. Te vas a acostumbrar. You're going to accustom to your voice. Because most of the people they don't like their voices. But remember that you have to be natural, like Miguel speaking in Spanish or speaking in English. Now you can you're going to find like new words or difficult words so you go to google translator and you text that word and you listen okay you listen that and then okay okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and in this i re i recommend you to do it for example if it's possible like three times i mean you select three lines, okay? One, two, three, One. or it can be two. And you read and you um, record the first time. The second time you're going to do better because you know the, the words. And the uh, third time, believe me, your pronunciation is going to be very nice because you know the words, you have Google the words and you have listened and you're a custom. That's, a, that's an a strategy. It is a good option for you. You're going to learn words, practice pronunciation, and practice reading. That's one example because your English is good, Miguel. I, you know a lot of words, but you can learn more words. Okay. 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 I don't know what, what is something that it is something that you like. I don't know, you tell me, movies, music, food, nature, books. Uh, music, uh, because um, I don't understand, uh, I don't know how can I say my life uh, when uh, 20 years ago, my life was very well, very well. Okay. And then... 
I changing about God. Yes. Perfect. Uh, I am Christian. I Christian. Mm -hmm. uh, it's correct. How can I say? Yes, I yes. You are Christian. Okay. okay. Um, I. That's good. Christian. That's perfect. Okay. Only listen music church. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, there are a lot of uh, Christian music. Mm -hmm. My life. I Christian music. Okay. I have problem uh, about ten years ago. Okay. But today, uh, I'm a new person. Okay, that's salary. that's wonderful. I like to hear that. Congratulations, Mil. I know it is difficult. Thank you, teacher. You yes. you give me um, support mm -hmm, about English because I want to speak in uh, more and more English and learn learn more and more say, about vocabulary, uh, yeah. speaking, listening. And my job told me uh, more or less. Uh, uh, Two months ago, if you understand, speak opportunity, he'll tell me, uh, piensalo, thinking. Mm -hmm. Think. Mm -hmm. uh, he tell me, thinking. It's opportunity mm -hmm. for me. It's opportunity for, for, for you. Mm -hmm. He, uh, the boss, the Freddy, and, my, and, and to me, and me. Okay, Freddy is your boss. No. No. Uh, my boss is boss Freddy and me. Ah, okay. And That's I, nice. And I. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, very nice. Uh, it is a good opportunity to learn English and remember that you can learn a lot. So, congratulations. And I want to motivate to support you go ahead okay if you have some questions or any difficulties please uh, write me a, a whatsapp you have my number all of you have my number okay so you are doing good you're doing very good Miguel. okay so please continue like this working and remember there are some other courses okay so we're going to finish until here and uh, miguel so congratulations your english is good and you're going to learn okay. more and more okay we have more classes ahead thank you teacher okay thank you to you See my you friend tomorrow and then okay perfect take perfect care. take care see you tomorrow bye bye bye, -bye.